All right, guys, we're back with Ready Tactical LLC. We're going to talk about the Reaper and some of the false assumptions. Yeah, and we did spell raised correctly. That is the correct raised. Look it up if you don't know what it means. There have been some concerns about the adjustment for the tension on the Reaper. It comes with a rubber spacer, two rubber spacers, that can have tension added or subtracted to them to fit any AR-type magazine. It will even fit the Steyr Aug magazines. Now, if you crank it all the way down and that's not quite enough tension, remove the screws and pull out the two rubber spacers, as seen. First off, it's not upside down. It holds the magazine right side up. So basically, everybody else is upside down. Now, the tension adjustment will accommodate any style of magazine, like we mentioned. This first one is going to show a USGI standard magazine that requires nearly 40 pounds of direct pull pressure for it to pop out of the Reaper. You're not going to accidentally have that happen. The next test shows a Troy Industries magazine, which is much, much slimmer. It takes around 19 to 20 pounds. Now, before you get your panties in a twist, the reason we didn't show the PMAG is because it is in between the dimensions of the USGI and the Troy Industries Battle Mag. So it'll handle your PMAGs as well. Another thing we come across is, hey, if I low crawl, it's going to fall out. First of all, low crawling sucks. It really sucks. And if you have to do it on a daily basis, you need a new job. So we put in the USGI standard magazine inside the Reaper, uh, fix it to a plate carrier, and we put Nate behind a car to uh, simulate a very stressful low crawl. You've heard of high speed, low drag? This is low speed, high drag. So your standard kit would not put the Reaper through this type of abuse. You can see the trench being dug behind me there as I'm behind the vehicle. There it is again. Beautiful trench. Approximately 25 yards before the malice clips detached. Notice the magazine is still inside the Reaper. Yeah, there was some trauma to the plate carrier. There's a little bit of trauma to the Reaper, but it still held the magazine. Now, there is some debris that comes out. Gen 3 Reaper is going to address that issue, but your magazine is secure. It did not fall out. A legitimate question we've come across is, hey, if I have to jump down into the prone really quick and I land on the Reaper, is it going to break? The answer is no. To test this and to demonstrate it, we filled the backpack with 200 pounds. We used all of our muscles to lift it up and drop all that weight straight onto the Reaper. The Reaper comes out of this unscathed. The marks on it are from the drag in the previous section. You can see it there. The mag can come out just fine. You can put the mag back in just fine. So basically the Reaper is very durable. It's going to hold up with all kinds of abuse thrown at it. It's going to speed up your reload. It's going to make you one of the fastest reloaders out there. Order yours today at www.readytacticalllc.com. Thanks for watching.